Hello and welcome. It's Amin here and uh, today I'm doing some advanced Python programming or advanced programming course. Um, I got, I get really asked pretty much about what is some advanced coding or what is some advanced programming with Python. Um, let's assume you have seen my first course that would be pretty much required for this uh, second course that I, I cover like most of the things that can be done with Python like from, from the first printing, from the first numbers till the classes, e errors, exceptions and e uh, etc. Like the whole documentation is included in this course. Um, for me, I, I, was, uh, I used to ask this question myself of what is uh, the advanced programming, what is the next steps so there are plenty of ways of going to some advanced uh, programming, I would say. And one of them, like you can go with technologies, you can go with, um, with anything actually uh, that can be really advanced. Just um, I think as part of learning and uh, as part of a uh, building block and how to really have your knowledge uh, consolidated in a way it would be really nice to start for example with one coding language like one programming language and do it really well for me it would uh, it has been Python for readability and for understanding because the m most important thing for me or for you is that you understand actually the concepts and not really into um, let's say something very fast like C++ or something that we'll see with as part of this course like uh, people will say okay this uh, because these algorithms have to do a lot with um, let's say uh, competitive programming and people say okay we do competitive programming we will do it in C++ because it's faster and Python is slow and whatever uh, but the goal of this course is really to understand those algorithms, to understand why those algorithms are uh, faster than others. Uh, normally, if we're gonna create some algorithms that will be more optimal than others, they would be more language agnostic. So the, the issue here is not with the language, but with the concepts, with the algorithms. So with the, in, this, uh, in this course, we will really um, uh, try to see the algorithms. And this is very important also like for uh, coding interviews and uh, to understand those concepts. Let's say in this course, we'll be talking about algebra. Yeah, I, like it's gonna be like with maths a bit since it's quite advanced. So, uh, it's, yeah, let's, let's be honest with this. Uh, it's going to be a bit advanced. Just stick around. I really encourage you to do that. Uh, I, will, uh, I will make it really simple. Uh, also, I base it on really trustful sources. I, t uh, I base it on these Emacs algorithms. They, transla they translated some algorithms from uh, um, some Russian uh, websites as well. It's like... It sounds like very good, let's say, base for algorithms and for some good training. And it's like for competitive programming, let's say. It's really some like really good algorithms that can be used in uh, multiple ways. So we are not, it's like, okay, we are, there are like coding challenges. Uh, but mostly like the core, uh, the core um, components of them, like those algorithms, you would use them and reuse them in multiple ways, let's say, and in multiple other, uh, they would be the root in, uh, of other algorithms. Um, so I base it actually on, on these algorithms and I will do like I did for the first course, like I went from A to Z, the whole uh, library actually uh, the whole uh, Python documentation I would do it even for this one from A to Z uh, yes maybe uh, we'll get to C maybe you, you can get think it's too much but I, I, I really believe that it's not too much just give it some time uh, we'll make it really easy like I really make it in Python like in, in 
competitive, a competitive program and normally they would make it in C++. Uh, here it's mostly C++. I really took the time to do it uh, in Python, so I made it uh, easier a bit to understand. Also, uh, I would explain it. So I, I hope you're not like afraid from some maths or something. Uh, like if you are in this in this let's say um, in this field, you, like you shouldn't be uh, that afraid at all. You can get really comfortable with this, and we we can we cannot go through it together. So no worries about that. So here you can see that we do I do it in Python in a very easy way. So this would be the next course, um, or at least easier or at least like simple um, and more uh, and just like comment if you have some questions or yeah just contact me uh, I would be glad to help if I can help um, so the sections of this course would be uh, a section about algebra we'll talk about algebra and some algorithms that are really recurrent in algebra or at least uh, that can be asked either for interview question or at least to make you understand some concepts. Um, we'll see some combinatorics, how to do permutations, combinations, and this is very useful as well in programming. Uh, we'll really uh, dig more into data structures, and this time like um, uh, a bit more than uh, what we have done in the first course. This one was more the basic, let's say, uh, data structures here will be more about also some advanced trees and some Q modifications and some advanced concepts. We'll do some dynamic programming. We'll do some game theory, uh, some geometry, uh, some graphs like uh, graph traversals, uh, some SAT, uh, um, yeah, some Euler paths. We, we're gonna really go to some funny things, let's say, just I think the more you go through those algorithms, the more you're gonna get really, really good at programming. If you want to get to the next level of programming, I really believe that uh, there is some time to, to put on the table and uh, I think it's really a good investment uh, to do so. So I'm ready to do it and I hope you're ready somehow to do it too. I haven't seen some, uh, like some really thorough uh, explanations or explanations of like all those algorithms in one shot in YouTube. And that's somehow why I want to do it because yeah, uh, that's something I was looking for. And yeah, I was saying, okay, oh, well, I want to get to the next level. Where should I do? And Okay, now we have this next level, so uh, the question is just who is going to do it. Um, I hope uh, a lot of you would do it. Um, so we go to the graph. Uh, also, just to let you know, if you're not from a, an academic uh, like, uh, background or even from a, an academic background, uh, even in academia, they don't go all the way to this, they would do some basic stuff, and they will like some BFS, red first search, and we will uh, go or DFS uh, and the, or Dyke, uh, Dijkstra, and here we will really go the extra mile with other even other algorithms for, for graph traversal, for example. We'll uh, go with linear algebra, matrix manipulations, and some determinants and everything. Um, so you get to also understand how to deal with matri uh, matrices and everything. We do have some numerical methods, some miscellaneous, uh, if we want to see something else, some puzzles, some problems. Um, we'll see some schedules, like uh, with the, let's see. So yeah, I um, really took it from here, so um, we'll, we'll really get into it very well. Uh, and sequences and strings, and here strings are really good. If I think if we go through this, 
mm, let's say those algorithms we would be really good with the uh, strings and they would be pretty good with the uh, string manipulation so let's say this is the outline of this course we're gonna go through those algorithms and uh, stay tuned thank you for watching see you soon and don't forget uh, to subscribe see you